Hi, I'm Terry Hawkins from Montrose, Colorado. We're in the beautiful Moab right now for Bronco Safari. Beautiful weather, lovely day to be out playing on the rocks. I've been to the Moab Bronco Safari five years in a row now. Just keeps getting better and better. Such a great event for Bronco enthusiasts. I volunteer with the Utah Bronco Club to be a trail leader and help in any way we can to make the event go easier and to make sure everybody has a good time. This is my 66 Ford Bronco. I bought this when I was 16 years old, when I was still in high school. Now, all through high school, it was my daily driver. And of course, with anybody that's enthusiastic about the off-road industry, it went through a number of changes in its life. I drove it as a daily driver all through college. I got a lot of miles put on it. Later, it turned into my toy that we just keep playing with and come down to places like Moab and play on the rocks and wheel in Montrose. Bronco's been through a couple of transformations from daily driver to mud run runner to sled puller to rock crawler as you see it now. For this particular build, when I started getting into the rock crawling, anybody that's wheeled an early Bronco knows that one of the most important things to do is keep the body out of the rocks. So we started with narrowing the body eight inches and we stretched the wheelbase to 102, did double triangulated four links on both ends, put 40 inch tires on it, locked both ends, full hydraulic steering from PSC. My goal for this build was to be as flexy as possible, as low as possible and look good. It's what I call my show crawler. Passionate about the way it looks, but also very passionate about the way it works. The color is what they call GTX blue. It is a tri-coat color. My painter picked it out for me. I told him I wanted blue. I wanted something really shiny. Wanted something that popped in the sun. And I think he nailed it. The color is just gorgeous. So starting at the front, you can see that it's been narrowed. It's a high country hood, also been narrowed. We narrowed the windshield frame, cut the glass down. It's got 40, 13, 50, 17 Mickey Thompson Baja Ba stickies on 17 inch Raceline beadlocks. Shocks are two and a half inch Kings, remote reservoir, Yukon axles, Yukon hubs, Detroit lockers, front and rear, drive shafts from Tom Woods. Tom Woods custom made the front drive shaft, which is pretty impressive because I can use all 16 inch travel in the front. I can hang all four tires and all four tires will spin with no binding of the drive shafts, thanks to Tom Woods. Beard seats, Curry anti-rock in the rear, full floating 60 in the rear, Yukon shafts, TSM disc brake conversion, Atlas transfer case. And one of the great things about the transfer case is that it's serial number one from Atlas. Been in there for a very long time. The powertrain, it's a 351 Windsor, board and stroke to 396. All roller motors, so roller cam, roller rockers, roller timing set with fuel injection from Pro-Am Racing. The transmission is a C4 with a bunch of art car stuff, a bunch of TCI stuff to handle 500 plus horsepower that the motor makes. Gears in the differentials are 538s, RCI fuel cell, custom cage that we built ourselves. We stretched the wheelbase to 102 inches, so we moved the flares all the way as far as we could front and back. The body has not been lengthened, but it has been narrowed. A little custom body work back here to make the flares look good. So we raised the flares up as high as we could, keep the center of gravity as low as possible. It was a big build, it was a big project. We spent a couple months on it in the shop, going from one end to the other on this to make it what it is now. A couple improvements I want to make. I want to change the hydraulic ram mount to an RTEC mount. I have that sitting at the shop, just haven't had a chance to get it done yet. So we're going to redo some of the bracketry and ram mount on the front axle. We're going to pull all the links out of it and freshen everything up, check all the heims, check all the links, you know, make sure there's no cracks anywhere. There's a, a few spots that need touched up with the paint. We took it down to Wolf Caves and K2 in Texas for the Lone Star Early Bronco Club Roundup. We've got a few nicks and scratches here and there that we're going to get touched up. For the most part, we love the way it works. We have such a good time in it. It gets used hard. Earlier today, we just did Coyote Canyon in Moab and everybody that knows about Moab has heard about Coyote Canyon. It's a great time tough trail and uh, we made it through it unscathed, came back, went to the car wash, polished it up a little bit. Here we are. My wife Tanya and I have put a lot of time and money in this thing and we love going places with it. Love coming out to events like this, meeting new people, wheeling with new people and looking at everybody else's builds. 